Hey everyone, today we are going to take a look at Dragon City Altar in Adventure Mode. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just clear all the mobs up to the first boss. A lot of this is the same as the normal mode, but there are some extra mechanics that we'll go over. The raid setup is pretty similar to normal mode. You need three tanks. And um, in this case, we have our range standing on the purple marker and our melee standing on the orange marker, which is different. Usually we have every, all the DPS on the purple. So um, melee will stand with the tanks. The extra tanks that are not tanking are going to stand on orange as well. And only the tank that is tanking goes to the green. Um, there's usually a healer over here or two with us to help heal the tank um, while they're tanking. Okay, I'm going to try to switch perspectives a little bit. So here we are in the range, and oh, the up first is share damage. Now don't forget the purple circles that are going through the background. Um, you either have to move in or out. Uh, now it's in the center, so you have to stay out of the center. Um, and the circle will move out to kind of the middle and then out to the back. So that's just a kind of move in and out mechanic. Now, um, up uh, there you just saw there was a cross mechanic uh, that's usually I think for ranged gets that so you'll get a red text over your head and um, you will need to watch out to move out for the cross now this case we have ads and you can see there's kind of these purple lines the ads come faster in adventure than in normal mode so you need to make sure to target the ads and kill them right away up next is an orb mechanic that is like an overlord. It's stand on the crack. Uh, and in the background, you'll be able to see there's a purple orb there. And um, it, you have to have a, a tank go to the tank side here, because there's two. There's one right behind the tank, and the other one gets a healer. At the same time, you'll see a share damage mechanic. Uh, you can see that in the background and on the top corner. And that happens while the orbs are going on. Uh, so usually there's two to three orbs when that happens. I think the three orbs are probably later on in the raid. Um, now here we've got the lines just a stay away from each other. You can see those in the screen there. Up next is the other new mechanic. This is black hole and these need to be done one at a time. So usually we have a healer assigned to it and then the one by the tanks the tank gets you just run into the black hole and it explodes. Again, if you do them all at once, you'll wipe the raids. So usually there's just one person does most of them and then the tank gets the other one. Uh, then we have another round of ads. Usually there's a few range that kills the ads behind you. You can see that there. And um, everybody else either continues to target the boss or kill some of the ads. And then there's another round of share damage. And that's most of the mechanics you'll see here. Um, we're going to get a round of seeds, so you spread out. Uh, there's the green circles around everyone, and here they are. And then it'll also going to, uh, like I said, just keep avoiding these purple rings that go in and out. If you go into the purple ring, you will get stunned uh, with a ghoul on you, and somebody has to uh, kill the ghouls in order to break the stun. Here's another round of Stand on the Crack. Um, the tank usually that is the last tank that's up for tanking is the one that stands on this. However, um, I grab it too if I see that nobody's standing on it. And you just stay on that until it is done. All right, up next is another cross mechanic. Uh, you can see it in the background go off. Again, look for the cross message over your head and move off to the side if you get that mechanic. Uh, now we're having another round of black holes. Again, I usually go over and grab them. Uh, t one tank is, uh, uh, the last tank to tank is usually the one that grits it, but I use grab it if I see it. Um, and here I'm switching to tank, so we'll go over tanking real quick. Uh, here we tend to switch at 12 stacks as opposed to normal, we switch at 10 stacks. I like to switch uh, around 10 or 11 because you usually get another stack or two and again here you can see where the stacks are located it's the one with the skull not the other one as far as tanking goes you just need to make sure that your green marker is far enough over so that it doesn't overlap that uh, crack mechanic in the back 
and you need to make sure that once you are done tanking that you move away far enough so that you don't end up getting that triangle AoE mechanic that the tanks get from the front of the boss. Okay, at this point in the raid it always seems like it's a little crazy and I think it's because the mechanics start to overlap. So here we have a stand on the crack one and at the same time you can see that the cross mechanic is going off right there. Uh, look for the red text over your head. And here you can see the yellow triangle of damage and you, how you want it to just miss that crack. And the uh, tank that's there is Gould, so you have to kill the ghoul in order to free her from being stunned. Again, at the top, uh, she's stunned in a ghoul, so have to break her out for that. Uh, now, we've got to have another round of black holes. So again, we're going to just make sure to stand in that really quick to get rid of the black holes one at a time and continue to watch these purple rings that go in and out. Now at the top you can see we have another round of seeds so make sure to spread out for the seeds. This is followed by another round of ads so the ads are going to spawn and you'll see some of the DPS in the bottom screen turn around to go kill those ads. It's important to get those down fast uh, you don't want them reaching the raid on the other side. Now um, there's the ad going down there and you go through and kill them. Next up we are killing the ghouls um, which most people, a lot of people got stuck in and we're just trying to get that boss down before because um, it's just completely insane by now. Um, we have another round of stand on the crack uh, so again, usually there's we have one healer I think assigned to that and the one tank. You could see the cross mechanic at the same time going off in the background. And here um, I got ghouled and I'm a little too far over in that uh, triangle of damage, but they got me out just in time. Um, so go ahead and continue that. I think at this point the boss is pretty much almost dead. Uh, we have another round of black holes. At the same time, there's share damage at the top. And that is it for this raid. Um, we have the boss down. So hopefully you found this helpful and you're watching VGO40 and this is VGO Girl and we will see you next time in World of Kings.